Welcome to the Draw My Life from McDonald's. At some point, we've all eaten in the world's most famous fast food chain. But did you know how it went from a small hamburger spot to establishments in 120 countries? It all started in 1937, when Richard and Morris McDonald set up a hot dog stand in California. Three years later, is San Bernardino on Route 66. They opened McDonald's famous barbecue with 25 different dishes. World War II changed everything. Vehicle weapons chain manufacturing gave Richard and Morris an idea. They realized that they could apply to their restaurant. So in 1908, they closed for several months to remodel their kitchen. The first thing they did was realize that 80% of what they sold were hamburgers. So they removed the 25 dishes and left only hamburgers, fries, and milkshakes. And created a unique assembly line, reducing the waiting time from 20 minutes to 30 seconds. Making all hamburgers come out the same. They had invented the concept of fast food. 1953 began to expand and open other McDonald's in Arizona, which already incorporated the famous Golden Arches. And the name was shortened to McDonald's, the mascot was Speedy, a caricature with a chef's hat. But everything changed when Ray Kark appeared. A milkshake machine salesman surprised that the brothers asked for 18 machines instead of just one. Ray realized the potential of the franchise, and proposed to sell their restaurants throughout the country. The McDonald brothers told him they didn't want to handle it, so Ray took care of the expansion. 1955 opened a restaurant in Illinois, and in a year, they had already sold more than 100 million burgers. By 1965, he had built more than 700 McDonald's, leaving aside his founders. Richard Morris had created the concept of fast food, but Ray Kroc had built the empire. So in 1958, he bought the full rights of the brand from the McDonald's brothers for 2.7 million, and promised to give 0.5% of all sales, but never kept that promise. Ray knew that he would have to train his workers to be efficient. So he founded the Hamburger University in Chicago in 1971, which is still in operation today, giving class to more than 3,000 people. In 1976, the most famous clown in marketing appears, Ronald McDonald. He was based off Buzzle the Clown, a character that was popular among children on American television. In the beginning, he had a plastic cup on his nose and a tray on his head. Honestly, it was scary. The following year, the clown had the design we now know. His image is the most recognized by children right after Santa Claus. Several characters were added, and they even made an animated series to capture the little ones. In 1967, it began to open up to the world, arriving in Canada and Puerto Rico. But in 1968, his flagship, the Big Mac, would appear. The Quarter Pounder wouldn't arrive until 1973, and the Happy Meal until 1979. The McChicken was introduced in 1980, but failed and was removed, but would return again later on. In the 70s, the Ronald McDonald Foundation was created to bring a home to families with children suffering from long-term illness. They help 9 million children a year to be close to their families while they are at the hospital. 68 million people go through the more than 36,000 restaurants in 120 countries where 1.7 million people work. It's estimated that 75 Big Macs are sold per second, but not everything has been positive. Like receiving numerous criticisms for promoting food that is unhealthy, the Super Size Me documentary, for example, talks about the health problems that are created by feeding only on McDonald's products. Man, a little variety never hurts, no. In recent years, McDonald's has been committed to cleaning up this image, introducing fruit, sugar-free drinks, juices, and healthier salads. Do you think that's enough? And this has been the Draw My Life of McDonald's. Who would you like our next Draw My Life to be about?